Jehovah, Jehovah, Bonia, oh, Yemameta. Hiya! It's a beautiful day. Every day is beautiful for me. Why? Because God made it. Here on Praise TV, we do nothing but praise Jehovah. My name is Mephia Bentum. I'm your host of The Post. This is the post, yeah, when you see me in the comfort of your home, what you see. Now, yeah, Bobby, yeah, discussion, sir. A dear Bobby, but two, three more. No, a friend of the post. Like I say on IG, ye be free. And eh, no, how be thou so? Ye be free. You can't understand everything and everything cannot work for only you. Sometimes it might rain. You don't want it to rain, but someone else need the rain. You have to adapt to it. That's what we do on the post. We look at each side of every situation. Today we are looking at LGBTQ plus plus plus. Just idea no grand one. Ne grand ni se. Omo an kasa no mo e confused to change it. Yeah, into no plus plus plus. Ne che se bit to make a count. Today we are discussing it in the studio. I have somebody who has been there, done that, and is out now to talk about it. But after this commercial break. Furniture City is the home of authentic home, office and outdoor accessories. For beautiful and authentic furnishing for your home, office, kitchen and private areas, it's Furniture City. For an excellent customer service and a great shopping experience in furniture, home furnishing and decor, look no further than only Furniture City in Ghana. Wow. Items bought are delivered in Accra and Tema. Wow. Locate Furniture City on the Spintex Road, two minutes drive from the Palace Mall Runabout, near Konsa Limited. Looking your best is not what your mirror tells you. It is the overall judgment by the public and otherwise the influence you make on them. At Face to Face Beauty School, we teach you how to stay informed, in touch, in style. You're beautiful. You are beautiful. You are beautiful. It's true. Welcome back in the studio with me. Like I said, is someone, a young man who's been there, done that, and is out. I'm looking beautiful, am I not? And a day, she said, "I'm almost super me up a sana one. Now I'm trying to confidence. I'm busy. I come to me cry and I'm into face to face beauty clinic made me look beautiful. So open so we see. I'm a member of my language and they own. So open so we see. I call the numbers on your screen. Just pick the number and call. Open so we be seeing. It's your good me to see. Oh man, oh man, back, back. We just call them. They will dub you up on your special day." or make you the expect that you want gh media school is how come you're seeing me you want to learn anything media you want to learn anything fashion you want to learn anything just call them and so person will try to be on cine and then just let me me let me show you my from me and you know who move just call the numbers on your screen and you'll be amazed how awesome they are going to interpret that your idea furniture city 
my home your home shouldn't be dull at all if you look at my set you realize that uh, at the papa or baby home of quality furniture they will soup your office your kitchen name it they will make sure just visit them on the sphincters road the number is on your screen my guest today is mr aaron Udino Ajeteno. What's the spelling you say? A D J E T E Y. Adam, you have something to say. I'm saying A J N A N A S E. Ajete Akron with a G. Yes. Please. You're welcome to my show. Thank you so much. You're much. looking good. Thank you so much. You keep looking better and better each time Grace, I meet you. Grace. Grace. So. Akwaba, Akwaba. Yes, Jenya. Me, Jenya, something. I love me. That's good. Oh, you don't love you? I love me, I'm gone. Uh huh. Because I'm gone, I'm gone. I'm so so hard. I had a Anyway, LGBTQ is not becoming an issue in our country. Some are for, some are against. I am against. I'm not shy to be against. The Bible is against, so I'm against. Okay, Jesus Christ didn't teach me to do that, so no. You were in there. What took you in there? All right, so I would say I fall under the category of people who go like they were born with it. Okay. So now we have okay. categories, we have types. We yeah. have people who were into it because of money. We have people who were into it because they were law lured into it. Okay. We have people who were into it because of curiosity. Okay. We have people who were into it because of they were, they were raped. Oh, okay. So okay. So it's different type of category. So how you are introduced to it? put you in the yeah, categories yeah. okay yes yeah, so we have people so that's why we can boldly say there's no gay gene because if there's a gene for it then those who don't have that gene how can you be raped and your gene will change in your body and and then you become system. it I, 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 you understand okay. how can money change your gene great you know how can curiosity change your gene yeah so I mean, no great gene. concept. I never yeah. thought about it like that, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we have no gene for it. It's just a feeling. So I. So the fact that they are saying that, oh, we were born into... Because now that's the card they yeah. are playing. I mean, the, the group, the, yeah. the people who have formed the LGBTQ, the leaders, the leadership. Their argument is that some of them are born with it, right? Mm, yeah. And that's what you're trying to tell us now, that if you are born into it, let's look at it uh, 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 through a different uh, eyes or eyes, yeah. with a different perspective. You're born into it. How can money change you? So for those of you who thought back then that you were born into it, you had more sin change. Yes. Now let's take the other yes, yeah. groups who were introduced because of money, who were raped, unfortunately, and who, how can that change your gene? Mm. Yeah, let them answer. Please, big question mark on social media. How can that change your gene? On YouTube, the post GH on Instagram, the post GH on Facebook, the post GH. How can you change your gene because of something that happened to you? All right, so I'll visit that on social media. Let's continue, thank right, you. So Yes, yeah, so I, I happens to fall under those who believe they were born with it. So growing up, I had that feeling. Okay. I, I didn't have uh, attraction for the opposite sex. Growing up? Yes. Okay, that's strange. Four, five. My, five, my understand yeah. Four, five? Did you just say four? Four, five, saying four, five years. As, yeah, Which four, kind of attraction they talk about now? <laughs> oh, my, me, 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 <laughs> uh, and get, me, uh, get, ghetto, the ghetto inside of me is out. Ghetto, right? No, so like, uh, I mean, five years. Uh -huh. What kind of feelings are we talking about? If you say you had uh, feelings for at five. Okay, at five, what I meant was, you know, five, you should be playing with your toys and stuff, play, playing football okay. and stuff. But I found myself with the girls. We had seven boys. I grew up in a mix of boys. Okay. In some cases, they'll go like, oh, because maybe he's the only boy in the middle yeah. of girls. That's why. No, no, no. In my case, we are just seven boys. Okay. And I, happen, I happen to be the fourth born. So three are older than me and I'm older than three. Mm. All right. Okay. So, I mean, I don't see myself with them, but I find myself comfortable with the ladies, rather, growing up. So that's how I started. So then I had uh, uh, um, that attraction. Okay. For for the opposite sex instead of 
it's, it's the same sex, sorry. Instead of, instead the, opposite. of the opposite sex. So that's how I started. So at the age of nine was the time my first encounter. Nine. Nine years. But I've always had that feeling. It's like I was waiting for the um, right opportunity to explore. Okay. So at the age of nine, it happened. Then it continued. So we're doing this mama needed a thing, and you know we're eight, five boys, three girls, and each was supposed to pick a girl. Five boys, and each was supposed to pick a girl, which we have only three girls. So they did three did left with two. Family friend of myself. I was like, since I behaved like a girl, let me be your girlfriend. Okay. And that was it. So it started. From were you behaving like a girl yes, back then? Back then, very. Okay. So as a so. I, I always had that feeling. I was just waiting for. The but wait, um, 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 let me let me take you a bit forward. You still feel? Do you still feel you are behaving like a girl now? It's like sudden, if you look at like your gestures. your colleague man, yes, your gestures, the way you talk, the way you act. Do you think you're still you still possess that f a, a bit of a feminine, feminine side? A bit, yeah, I'll say. Okay. Okay. Then that doesn't mean anything now. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to prove here so, because so you have still seen... not changed that much. You have matured, yes. you have grown. Exactly. Uh, sorry, you, you've grown yeah. and you've matured, but you have not changed much. Yes. Because you still possess yeah. a yeah. bit of the feminine side. Yeah. But that doesn't make, make you female. Yes, exactly. Good. So now, that's what they think. Most people think, oh, once you behave like that, your kojobe is, yeah, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. Then... Automat automatically you are one. Yeah, no. one. I, I know people who behave like, who have these tendencies, who behave like a girl, but they are not, they've even kissed a guy before. And I know people are very masculine, who are even more than gays. They are gays. Okay, so um, um, let me just address my guest very well. So from, let me say, yes, it's a, then chen from Sion Bekache, also a potrewa, GD from one who has been there done that been through it all and is out is telling us parents children sons daughters if you have the tendencies of the opposite sex it doesn't make you the opposite sex it is how god molded you what you carry that determines what sex you are not necessarily how you feel or how you and so now we could do this. I see your friends say, "Oh, are we?" And I just say, "One wa, one young kubema." I mean, it's it, it's it's a confusion that's going on. I needed to clarify that, and mm -hmm. I thank you for for coming here and and clarifying that. The fact that you possesses those doesn't make you, you make the opposite you, yeah. sex. Great. Yeah, because I've I've seen men who are masculine, macho men, but they are gay. Yeah, they are gay. I'm telling you. I thought you said they are girly. No, they are gay. Macho men, masculine. Maybe okay. a lady will see you go like, <gasps> but her, no. Oh, mama, man, I cry, I should do it. You say, me, my, me, my, you come with me, no more, I should, because I'm a man, I'm a baby, I'm a Anyway, <laughs> let's continue. Okay, so you were introduced at nine. Mm. All right. And then? Then I moved on. I mean, I went to, uh, so I never knew it was a sin to junior high school when I heard people oh. talking about it. Like, really? Yeah, right. Please, well, now of course Sunday school. Yeah. Okay, I don't want you to mention which church, but um, anyway, I don't blame them. Around that time, there was nothing like LGBTQ yeah, 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 and all yeah, yeah. that, so we're not... Okay, all right. Into your Sunday school for me, Pacho. I am on I, I, I really have a heart for Sunday school. I really have a heart for these kids. I think that we need to take these Sunday school things seriously instead of just um, Okay, so you didn't know throughout Sunday school that this was a thing yeah. until you got to junior high school. When uh, my colleague was it your colleague? Okay, your yeah, friends. Yeah, we were talking about it. I mean, I, I don't know what happened. And we were talking about. Did it. they? Did they any? Okay, wait. You didn't know it was a sin, mm -hmm. but did your parents know then that that was what you were doing? No, they knew I I behaved that way, but they had. They didn't know you were yes, actually introduced acting, into yeah. it. Okay, so you, why didn't you tell them since you didn't know it was a sin? I I. You knew it was wrong. Should I say wrong? You knew it was wrong, but you didn't know it was a sin. 
Mm, okay, I was no, as I a child, wrong, I, yes. I, I think it I mean, makes sense. Yes, yes. As a child, as, a, as children, we know right and, and wrong, wrong. Exactly. and we don't really because know even sin. If and you want to do it, you need to go and hide. So, hiding uh, should tell you that what you, you're doing, doing you know is wrong. wrong. Yeah, okay. So, if someone come and meet you right now, what's the person going to say? So, you, have, you need to hide, or when no one is around before. Before you can uh -huh. do it. If it's right, you can do it in front of people. So, which means you didn't know that it had if it was going to have effect on your soul as exactly. a person. Exactly. All right. Real exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, then I, I, I went to um, senior high school. Okay, so I mostly argue with my colleagues that if this is wrong, how, how is it wrong? Because this is how I'm feeling. How can my feeling be wrong? Can it, my feeling be sane? You know, like I didn't so they knew it. you were gay? Yes, most of my colleagues in senior high school. Okay. I'm the fun type, like they don't care, like everyone, you know, yeah. when I'm around. And I mean, I, I, I keep arguing with them about it because this is how I feel. I didn't ask for it. And yes, Sunday school, I went to Sunday school and you put yeah. it on the board do this do that but that's how i'm feeling you know so why should my feeling be be a sin? well how come god made me this way exactly. and now so you now we go like we're born this way like god made us in his own image all those times when you were arguing your way out when you were arguing your feelings out that this is how I, I feel and I, I i believe i was did you as a person honestly now we're teaching them did you as a person at any point feel there was something wrong like even though you were arguing, you know, sometimes me to me I can say, me ni na me sheno. It's it's me. It's that's my style. But deep down, I know it's it's wrong. Or there's a but. I know it's not okay. But I'm arguing it because um, I want to be accepted this way because that's what I want to be. At any point in time, did you any, did you at any point in time feel that you were doing the wrong thing? Yes, and uh, that was I think uh, before two fifteen. So do you think that those who are in now, deep down, have a sense of oh, yeah. shame connected I have, I have to it? colleagues who still talk to me. They were like, prefer us. You know, it's not easy to come out of this. You know, it's not our will. Like, and yet, when they have the opportunity to stand out, they will still argue for? It depends on how you're putting it, presenting it. Now, I, I saw a post on Instagram. My friend was like... Uh, we go like, oh, we, we, we don't, we hate the sin, not the person. But at the end of the day, it's the person that we kill, not the sin. Okay. It's the person that we stone, not the sin. Okay. You know, they go like, oh, we hate the sin. The sin, not the love. person, yeah. Yeah, but at the end, it's the person that you kill. It's the person that you're throwing stones so at, at, yeah. Exactly. So now, it depends on how you're putting it out there. So How the questionnaire the or the it person was... The questionnaire is putting it out there. Okay. Then they can argue that, no... When you told me it's a sin and you choose to do it, I can go. I, I didn't choose this. Okay, so, so depending on the on argument, I'm talking goes. about those who have come out mm -hmm. to say, um, accept us, that's what we want. We so want now, it to be legitimate, uh, legitimate. We want it to, I'm sorry, we want a legitimacy attached to it. We want it to be law. We want to be able to do it in mm, the open. Mm, I'm mm. talking about those who are going okay, all so, out and matching out for that. So they've, they've silenced the voice of God. Okay, so now they have no shame. Yes. So the shame is not is, there. It's not there anymore. Because at a point, every person can testify. That at a point, at least, there's a voice in you. Yeah. You don't need to tell me what I'm doing is wrong. But in, in the body, Holy Spirit inside of you. Like, no, what you're doing is wrong. Then there's another voice. That's so what I'm two talking voices about. Clashing in your mind. So which one should you go for? Be yourself. Da, 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 you know. So the one you listen to, just like um, Galatians. So walk not in the flesh. When you walk in the spirit, you not fulfill the last of the flesh. So the voice you listen to, you 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 you, you walk. Uh, you work according to the voice you listen to. So most of these people have, have uh, uh, silenced the voice of the Holy Spirit. When I was into that doing wild stuff, there are times some people, I kept telling people that God was with me throughout. Why? Because there were places I was supposed to go, I didn't go. L like, let's go. I was doing prostitution. Now, in my prostitution, when I go on the site and I want to meet someone, I hear a voice, no, don't go. Sometimes I'll be getting ready, get, uh, getting ready to go. I've taken my bath. Then I just have a strong conviction. Like my heart will just be beating so fast. Don't go. Don't go. Okay. Don't go. So that's Don't the go. Holy Ghost prompting you not, not to. to. Go. But after a while, when you keep listening to the other voice, then, then you, you silence the voice. So 
I mean, at that time, God has saved me from so many things. Because the things I did, what I've survived, can kill someone. I mean, mm. it has killed a lot of people. Wow, that's so true. What you have survived can kill so many people. Uh, I'm going to come back to you. What he survived will kill you. Don't try it. Don't try this at all. <laughs> anyway, but I mean, he's talking deep. I love the way the discussion is going. If you, are, if you think you were born gay, or you are introduced into it, they are lying to you. Listen to him. He's been there, done that. Let's go for what's trending, and we'll be back. shop these days. Why? Because they are quite easy to make, stress-free and lucrative for the stylist. They are adjustable, easy to use and time efficient. You can have it in twist braids, box braids, jumbo braids among others. Go get your own piece now. Welcome back. That's what's trending. So, you know, yeah, yeah, trendy people. So we give you what's trending out there. You're welcome back. We're still discussing LGT. Okay, 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 plus, plus, plus. I get confused somewhere in there in the middle. <laughs> LGQ. LGBT. Hey, hey, I some more. LGBTQ plus, plus, plus. Hey, yes. Mana plus in Libya. No, no, no. Anyway, it is well with our soul. So you're welcome back. That's what we're discussing. In the studio is Mr. Aaron Akron. Um, yeah. Akron. You like Aaron, your Ajit in it? Yes, I'm gone. And I have it. No, I'm hey, Aaron Ajete, that's my middle name. Aha, uh -huh, I'm Aaron Ajete, 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 I'm loving the discussion. God bless yeah. you so much for coming out. Um, I know that when you go on, on, on many discussions, they, they get stuck at uh, how, you end, how you went into it and how it's been for you. So I'm mm. going to skip how it's been for you. And, and I'm going to go into how you came out. Mm. Because mm. We're, we're looking at how um, those who are confused, who are out there, who feel that, no, I need to come back to Christ Jesus. We need to, we need to know, they need to know how you did it and how they're going to be sustained. A bit more on my, it's because of sustainability. That's why they're stuck there. Mm. How am I going to make it? How am I, the support system, the, uh, sometimes, excuse my English or, or my French, the, the sex bit, you know, a part of me and he doesn't even know how to do otherwise Inti, how did you come back out i'll say uh it's by the help of the holy spirit mm. Mm. not by strength not by mind so when you ask me how did you come okay, out? okay let me let, let me do this not just for me and you for them mm -hmm. we're going to do how you came up mm. okay Aaron, we're going to do how you came up, but we're going to do it in stages. Mm. I know nobody has ever asked you to do this. And I'll mm. be happy if on your social media handles and you're going to go into it. Stages of how to come out of homosexuality. Mm. So if you can do stages, stage one, what was the first thing you did? Then when you're done with that, you go to secondly, then that means that's stage two. Thirdly, then you arrange it like that for them because a bit more to say, you know, your, your mindset, you know, you're, you're very organized. So we go through things like that. So please. So we are going to go in stages mm -hmm. how you came out. So stage one, how did you come okay, out? So stage one, I, I started with cutting off some friends. Okay, but before you cut off the friends, did you have anybody, any external support? Yes, I did. Um, Reverend Timothy Bentum. Okay. Mr. Confidence. Mr. Andy Mark. Okay, you were in school, so Mr. Confidence was your... Um, lecturer. He was your lecturer, but was he a chaplain, head yes, of chaplain yes, then yes, or something? School, okay. Yeah. All right. Then uh, uh, Mr. Andy was my lecturer. As well, okay. As well. So um, uh, Mr. Timothy Bentum, Timothy Bentum. Reverend Timothy yeah. Bentum happens to be... Um, a man of God who has service in the school. Okay, okay. So, yeah. So one of these services we were having in school, he was the one preaching. Then he said a word to me. 
which a man of God has said it to me before. Before. So I was like, okay. So I think at break time, there were, someone was like, oh, it's not really a man of God. These people. So no, what he said is true. He said something to me which is true. Someone said it before. So that made me believe him. Mm. Started coming to the church. So now their support made me do, understand. Do you, do you remember what he told you? Or is this something we can say on air? Okay, said, okay. Uh, so basically it was a prophetic word, word right? Yes, that mm. God is going to use you and you're going to be a great person. Okay, the reason why I said can you be, I, I figured mm. that the prophecy might not have been a bad one. Yeah. That's yeah. why I said, could you remember? Because he was gay back then, his friends, any, let me, let me, let me not just limit it to his friends. Especially the Christendom, suppose. Ended up bashing him to the point that when they heard his prophetic word that said God will use you, were like, ah, he's not a good prophet. He's not a real man of God. How can God use Aaron? Aaron saying, and so we condemned him. But here he is. So they condemned you back yeah. then when yeah. they heard your prophetic word. Wow, amazing. I mean, sure. Okay, so the first thing basically was Cutting somebody him. reaching out. Yes. And then cutting your friends, friends off. off. All right. Why did I cut? Someone go like, why are you cutting your friends off? Now, we are atmospheres. Everyone mm. carries an atmosphere. When I come mm. to you, the kind of energy I bring around, maybe you laugh 24-7. Someone will come, Someone yeah. will come, I cannot be before, but that's the atmosphere the person carries. Someone will come, Someone will come, let's read. You know, everyone has an atmosphere. So, now, right now, I need time with God. Mm. When this friend comes in, the kind of atmosphere you bring will make me go back. You can't, you can't tell me you want to change and stay with some people around you. No. Mm. You need to be alone with God. So I cut some friends off. And secondly, uh, I went off all social media. Thirdly, um, my partner, I, I, I broke, because I, I nearly got married. Wow. Yeah, so we had to cut that relationship. It wasn't easy. It's like, uh, uh, I keep telling I keep telling people that I have to choose between God and money. Great. And and, and sorry to say, I keep saying a uh, God you can't see, a uh, money you can see, physically you can see money. Mm. Say so just a believe, you know. So how something. do you choose something you don't see with your see, physical you know, eyes? So it was a little bit It was difficult. For me, but I was like, if this is your will, let it be Lord. Mm. Because of the experience I went through. So it means you skipped a stage because yeah. for you, before, before you, you, you had to cut your friends off, you first had to ac accept the Holy Ghost. Exactly. You first had to accept, accept what's happening Jesus as your per Pers personal, Lord savior, and personal Savior and to walk it. with you and to yeah. support you Sorry. personally. Personally, yeah. My personal stage. Then to move on, you had to, 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 break on, you to break out. Okay. So every time God needs to bless somebody, every time God needs to work with somebody, the, he needs to separate yeah, them. Set you apart. Mm. And then bring you back, back into, into them. Into them, exactly. Mm. Then you are ready. Then so ready. some of our men of God preaches that eh, you don't have to, uh, you, you have to be in them to preach to them. It, it's true, but your stages yes you yes. first have to step out step out prepare, prepare yourself build yourself coming. when you're ready then you, you step come, back yeah. in yeah. not yeah. immediately no you right. end up falling because the atmosphere is the atmosphere because I, at a point i have a friend when he calls then i feel funny mm. anytime just the voice i feel funny funny as in yes, lasting that, that after lasting, him yeah, exactly i feel funny like ah why am i feeling funny you know that kind of mm. thing so i have to Cut, I him to off call, a bit. cut him off. I, t I told Reverend Timothy Bentum about it, and I told Mr. Andy about it. That when this person calls, or anytime I, I begin see this to person, feel funny, you know, so stay away, stay away, stay away. Okay, so after cutting them off, yeah, then uh, I wanted to know more to seek the face of God. I so you seek face of, of God. God. So always going to the mountains to open yourself up more to the things of God. Yes. So Father, I'm here, Lord. Teach me your ways. All right, let me say this. I mean, Chippy went in. Going to church. Okay, going to church. Mm. A lot of people are saying that the church is filled with liars. The church is filled with da, 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 da. That is why they don't go to church. And they are saying that even in church, you were, um, quote, unquote, um, uh, hypocrite more than 
the outside mm. world. Mm. Into if the mm. homo mm. Uh, homosexuals are coming out, we should allow them because they are even in church. Me mm. in church. You made you made mention of feeling yourself and everything. Coming to church has it been helpful, or yeah. you think that you could have done it on your own without having going to church? No, no, no. Coming to church helped me in a way because I didn't really understand what was happening. Because most of the things I experienced was outside church. Let's say speaking in tongues was outside church. Okay, but. Me, um, the first stage was me accepting Christ, was in church. Okay, speaking in tongues outside church, who led you? Good. So I was reading about uh, speaking in tongues, where people were speaking, and when I come to church, people are speaking. Okay, so I was reading about it. Then I went to the hostel, I wanted to go home. So I told my friend, oh, I'm coming to the hostel to get something from you to go home. When I got to the hostel, there were two in the room. I only met one. Then he said, well, I'll ask him, where's the other one? He said, at the back of the um, house. I said, okay, then I'm leaving. I got what I wanted and I left. On my way, then he called, said, the other guy is in here, he's looking for me. I should come back. So I went back. When I got there, we used to take, uh, I take a uh, weed toffee with them and, and alcohol and stuff. So we missed this weed toffee with alcohol and stuff. So um, the other guy who was outside the room was having that with the girlfriend. So all of a sudden, the girl went off, speaking, da -da 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 -da. God forgive me. So they thought she was losing her mind. Losing her mind. Then she was like, "Where I am? Call Aaron. Call Aaron." She didn't know. They didn't know I was there, because when I came, they were outside. But the guy rushed in and said, "Oh, call Aaron for me." They said, well, "He just left." You know how the whole thing. Are. He just left. They, they called me back. When I came back, like ah, the girl is going off, and but she's just mentioning your name all the time. Like just keep mentioning your name. So I went there. I was like, what "Was it?" Then she was like, uh, "God, God, Aaron is here. Aaron is here." Um, Aaron, the so, girl who was eating rich toffee. I'm telling you, she was high. Began to prophesy to. I'm telling you, and she was in shorts. God can use anyone. Oh my God, <laughs> and she was in shorts, and most of her body parts were exposed. You know, and she was speaking. It was like, you know, like should we take her to the hospital? I said, just hold on, hold on, hold on. She's saying something. Then she said, Aaron, God said He will make you speak in tongues. Then I said, No, she's not getting mad. I was just reading this thing five minutes ago before coming to the hostel. Mm. So she's not losing it. So God began to speak to you throughout. That's how... I started speaking in tongues. So did you start speaking immediately? Right, or right there. Right there, I you started speaking. and then hit me like that. And that was it. Amazing. Amazing. Okay, so, but going to church... I mean, yes, yes. Uh, oh so yeah, I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying it so much, but I really need to take a commercial break from my sponsors and we'll be back. Furniture City is the home of authentic home, office and outdoor accessories. For beautiful and authentic furnishing for your home, office, kitchen and private areas, it's Furniture City. For an excellent customer service and a great shopping experience in furniture, home furnishing and decor, look no further than only Furniture City in Ghana. Both are delivered in Accra and Tema. Locate Furniture City on the Spintex Road, two minutes' drive from the Palace Mall Runabout, near Konsa Limited. My life is brilliant. Looking your best is not what your mirror tells you. It is the overall judgment by the public and otherwise the influence you make on them. At Face to Face Beauty School, we teach you how to stay informed, in touch, in style. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. 
You're welcome back from that um, short commercial break. We're still here discussing the LGBTQ plus 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 with Mr. Aaron Ajite Akron. Aaron, how yes, yes, <laughs> But I mean, sure, you're out and you're going to pull many out, I yeah. know. But now let's look at, uh, you are now into ministry. Yes, please. Okay, what is your drive? What's your call? Well, um, I keep saying, I have the grace that turns sinners into saints. Oh, grace to turn sinners into saints. So do you now feel that there was a reason why he allowed you, God, I mean, allowed you to, to go, go through. through all that? Yeah, because I keep telling people that, you see, most of the things I've done, I should be sick or dead by now. Sometimes, like, I go like, whoa. Because I have people who have done the same thing and they are dead and gone. Mm. Some even didn't get half, half of it, of that journey, mm. and they died. Mm. He took me through it. That's why earlier on I was saying that most of the things I went through, I was like, God is with me. God is with me. God is with me. God is with us. Yeah. Ministry, how has it been so far? Oh, God has been faithful. What are some of the challenges you're facing well, in ministry? In ministry, hey, I mean, gathering people and, I mean, as a young minister, yeah. gathering people is a little bit challenging. And sometimes when you, you, people want to join your ministry, just because you have that type thing like, oh, it's an ex-gay, da, 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 da. They think my ministry is all about gay stuff. I'm like, no, it's not a gay ministry. <laughs> you know? I need to explain okay. what the ministry is about. Now, the ministry is about people who are struggling. With all with kinds of addiction. Addiction, not just who want to come out of all mm. kinds, not just being gay. Because I have ladies on there. Well, I have who have guys never been gay. Yeah, they're straight. Who are, who are, but they're probably struggling with fornication, masturbation, oh. pornography, and all that. They are not gays. And I have mothers on there, I have children on there, you know. So it's just people going through uh, addictions, uh, who have, uh, 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 yes, addictions, weaknesses, okay. want to, I mean, stand right with God. Okay. Basically that. So we do high school invasion. When we go to the high schools, we tell them uh, the word, I mean, we preach the word to them, tell them that you can come out of any kind of addiction. Hmm. God has the power. So with him, all things are, are possible. possible. So... We believe that doing so, we are going to win souls for Christ. Wow. What is your agenda? What, 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 from now, what do you intend to achieve for God? Like, what's your agenda? What's my, your dream, your my vision? Dream, my dream, to win souls. I, I, mean, I know, but what's the, like, the direct agenda? For me, I have the heart for women, for especially young ladies. Oh, okay. So. Conferences and yeah, so what? So youth, youth, youth. That's the agenda too. Is that How do you says, intend to get the youth? That's the thing. I mean, are you social media and stuff? So, okay. You know, proclaiming the uh, 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 the power of God mm. to them. That you know, I mean, to because most of these people are youth. Because the target is now the youth. Those mm. coming. Those coming, you know, we are projecting this LGBT stuff. Some someone doesn't know about it. Hearing it will now trigger the person's to mind. Rather to rather to you know, go so, into it. Yeah. So now to them, let them know that God created us in His own image, image. and likeness, meaning His character. He said, "Be ye holy, because I am holy." I am holy. Wow. He said He did not call us unto uh, uncleanliness, mm. but holiness. He didn't create you into uncleanliness, but Onto holiness. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming on my show. So I mean, much, it's been amazing. I've loved this discussion. Your final words to um, everybody who is watching you. Um, what would you tell, especially to the gay community, people who are in there who who, who want a way out? I mean, yo. So I mean, with God, because, all things are possible. And most of these people are saying, let's put this, this, and that. They are atheists and stuff. They don't believe in God. They end up, when you really ask them, what do you believe in? They don't really believe in God. But those who believe in God, with God, all things are possible. He can do it. If God can touch me, if God can change me, then the possibility of you being saved is high. Because I've done it. I've, I've been there, you know. But God is faithful. I know it's not easy, but with God, by your own strength, you can do it. Mm. But with God, inviting in. If, if you invite him in, he'll be the master of your house, the master of your body, and you take control. 
yes so i'm saying it is possible it is possible we have no gauging it is it's just a feeling when they act when you ask them they go like this is how i feel it's just a feeling and you can overcome that feeling yeah you can overcome that feeling also that is amazing today's discussion got me thinking so much as a parent we have a lot of work to do as parents even as a children's service in fact from now i think say my sorry children's service for me baby i'm every month of any biscuit right and i'm not talking the children i'm talking the teachers because my juma so because the enemy is now targeting them. In the studio with me today was Mr. Aaron Ajete Akron. We didn't need to be coming. Aaron Ajete Akron. A A A. Thank you so much Thank for you, coming. Ma. Thank you. It's been amazing. May God give you speed. Amen. May He grant you grace. May He take you far and through you. May He break the chain of gayism, homosexuality, LGBTQ, and all that upon His children. In Jesus' name, Amen. I think we'll be doing conferences. Sure, I think I love this sure. discussion. We should push it further. Sure. Okay. Thank you very much for staying with me today. Today, 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 I'm excited. My heart is calm. My heart, I, I, I'm feeling happy that we did this discussion, but I'm also feeling a sense of responsibility that I have a lot I can do to help the body of Christ, especially in, an area, in this area, LGBTQ. There's so much I can do. I'm going to look into that. And I believe that you have so much that you can do. You might say, Enfame, but let's do what we can children's service let's do what we can i'm looking amazing because face to face dulled me up so call the numbers on your screen and all they say is stay informed in touch and in style furniture city amazing place of furniture if you enter furniture city you know that all solutions are in can be in one place it is possible there's no impossibility in furniture city call the numbers on your screen and they're going to make your home your office i mean every corner of your home or your office in fact if you want to decorate your street we have something for you call the numbers on your screen gh media school i love them so much i mean in fact a family a family business why would you call the mafia press tv the only us of mommy with a swag bb ape o bi e be the be to some us so GH Media School, call the numbers on your screen for all your recordings and everything media that you want to study. My beautiful outfit. How can I forget my beautiful outfit? My beautiful outfit is by Elegant Shape. Elegant Shape made me look this beautiful. It's simple, but it's classy. So you want to look amazing on your day, or you just want to step out in style, just call Elegant Shape. The number is on your screen, and they will ship you to your skin. My name is Mephia Bintum. This has been the host. Here we discuss everything. My word to you. Your feeling is different from the purpose of God concerning your life. So seek the purpose of God concerning your life. And everything you're feeling will fall in place. God bless you so much. Until next week when you hear, Hiya! It's me. Good night.